Glide allows you to connect to an Earth table to create your app, but it has some limitations that I'm going to discuss in this video. To connect an Earth table with your Glide app, all you have to do is click on New Project, and then you just uh, select whether you are building a Glide app or a Glide page, click Continue, and then select the Earth table option, and then click Continue. Then pick one of your available bases. In this case, I'm going to pick the first one, and then click Create App. That automatically will pull all the data from your Airtable base into your Glide app. As you can see here, if we go to our Glide data editor, we'll see four tables which have been imported from our Airtable project. So in theory, we could start creating our app just with what we have here. As you can see, Glide already has detected that there is four tables. And then, for example, if you go to Clients, we click on any client, the linked table to invoices already appears here. If we click on invoice, you can see also it's listing the link table to the invoice detail table. So all the link tables have been recognized by Glide, and then we could start building our app. Now, there are five limitations of using Airtable as a data source inside Glide. The first one is that the relations or the link tables that have been pulled from Airtable inside Glide are not editable. So let's say we go to clients and we'll see that there is a relation table or a link table called invoices that is connecting clients to invoices. We can click on it, but you'll see that there is no button allowing us to edit this column. The second limitation is that any columns that we create inside Glide won't be created inside Airtable. Now, if we create a column inside Airtable, it will be synced back to Glide, but not the other way around. Let me show you this. For example, if I add a new column here called description, and I enter some dummy data here, we can go back to Glide and go to clients and click the refresh button, and you'll see how a new column appears. And here it is the column, description with the dummy data. Now, let me do the same thing here. I'm going to create a new column called description2, and it's going to be of the type text, and I can enter some dummy data, but it won't synchronize. So if I go here, I could uh, refresh the page. As you can see, the second column has not appeared. So that's the second limitation. What has happened, as you can see, the column type indicator is blue, meaning that this is a user-specific column. This in Glide means that the values or the data inside these columns are only going to appear on that specific user's app, and they're not stored for all the users to see. So if you want to create columns that can be seen by all users, then you will have to always create those columns inside your Airtable basis. The third limitation is that no computed columns created inside Glide will sync back to Airtable. So let me create a computed column that sums up the values of its invoice. There's already a column that does that, a computed column that does that inside the Airtable, but let's say we want to recreate that same behavior inside our Glide data editor. I'm gonna click the plus button and I'm going to go Sum two is going to be a roll-up type of column where we're going to add the values inside the invoice detail, the amount, and we're going to sum it. And you can see here, the values are exactly the same as the ones computed inside Airtable. So that works. But if we go back to Airtable, you'll see that that computed column has not been created. So it's not syncing back to the earth table. And that happens with all computed columns. I could also create a relation column, or if I click the plus button here, you can see there is a ton of computed columns, right? None of these columns, if you create them inside Glide, will sync back to earth table. The final limitation is that you cannot delete columns inside Glide if the data source for that table is Airtable. So for example, let's say I want to delete the total amount here. As you can see, the delete button appears, but when I click on it, it says, oh shit, please delete columns in Airtable for now. So maybe in the future, we'll be able to delete Airtable columns 
from inside Glide, but not at this moment. Now you can edit the type of a column, just click on the column and click edit. As long as the column is not a computed column, you'll be able to change the type of column. So let's say I want to change this from number to text, you can do that and that will work, except that that change won't reflect back to Earth table. So in essence, anything that is related to creating data, linking tables from an Earth table source should be always done inside Earth table. And then everything else related to designing the app, or maybe if you want to create other computed columns that you don't care for them to be synchronized back to Airtable, you could do that also inside Glide. So that's how you link an Airtable to your Glide app. And those are the limitations of using Airtable as your data source. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.